Hey there, it's Brooks here from DocumentSnap.com and today we're going to talk about how to scan business cards using the Evernote iPhone app and how you can have the information from those cards automatically added to a contact on your phone. So again, this is the Evernote iPhone app. Unfortunately, this business card scanning functionality is not yet available for Android. Hopefully it'll be coming soon. And this is a premium feature. So you need to be a premium member of Evernote in order to use this. So for, to start with, we need to do a little bit of setup. And it's very easy to scan the business card information. It's not so easy to find where you set it up so that this information is automatically added to your contacts. So we're going to start with tapping the little gear icon up in the top left corner. And now we're going to go to general. And now we're going to go to camera. And now we're going to go to business cards. And we're going to scroll all the way down and you can see a little section with business card preferences. And you can see you can select a notebook if you want that these business cards will always go to. I just have it business cards. You can automatically tag these scanned business cards if you do that. And you can see at the bottom there's a little check uh, slider it says save info, contact info to contacts and I'm going to choose that. And it may prompt you to for Evernote to give access to your contacts. If it does, say yes. So we've got that set up now. So any business card that I scan should automatically go to your contacts. And I'm going to go back to the main screen. And now let's try scanning a card, one of my old business cards here. So we're going to tap the camera icon. And you can see I've got my card here. And what you do is at the bottom, you can see we have some options, post-it note, photo, document. And I'm going to tap over here to the business card. And I'm going to line this up. And I'm going to tap, take a picture. And you can see it's attempted to automatically read this stuff in. It's done a pretty good job. Uh, it got my name wrong, uh, which is fine. I'll just fix that. Uh, it will attempt to read the information off of LinkedIn if, if it can. Uh, for me, that doesn't work because I don't think this is associated with my LinkedIn account anymore, this email address. But in general, you can see it did a pretty good job. And when you're ready, you can either hit the delete button to get rid of that card, or you can hit the check button when you agree that it's good. And we've got our note saved, and we can either email that person, which would be emailing myself. You can scan another card, or you can hit done. So I'm going to hit done, and no, I do not want to write Evernote. So you can see, if we go to business cards, my business card notebook, that's the, biz the notebook that I had said I want to have it saved to. I'm going to tap there. And you can see we've got a note here, which has my business card information and an image of my card, which is pretty great. And now let's check out my phone's contacts and see what it saved there. So I'm here in the contact record of my phone, and you can see that it's created this contact, pull out the numbers and the email address, none of which work anymore, so don't bother calling them. Depending on the card, it works well for some, not so well for others, but in general, I find it works pretty well. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. And if you'd like to get more of these tips delivered to you, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. They'll be right there. Thanks so much.